Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to control 12 volt CPU fans using an Arduino. Here's a sneak peek of my Arduino controlled hovercraft. At this point this is just a very crude prototype, but I do plan on making two different versions of this hovercraft using the fan control technique shown in this video. The fans I'll be using in this video are all 12 volt DC, but I am planning on automating this 120 volt attic fan in a future video. Now each of these fans has a 12 volt brushless motor. So why does this fan have two wires, this fan have three wires, and this fan have four wires? Well, with each additional wire we get a little more capability. Let's start with the two wire. The two wire fan just has a red and black wire, the red obviously for positive and the black for negative. Because it is a 12 volt fan, we're going to need a transistor or MOSFET to control the fan with the Arduino. For this video, I'll be using an N-channel MOSFET. And we'll use this LM34 temperature sensor to tell the Arduino when to turn the fan on and off. The MOSFET I'm using has a gate, drain, and a sink in this order. And we're going to be connecting 12 volts to the red wire of the fan. And we're going to connect the black wire of the fan to the drain of the MOSFET. The gate of the MOSFET will connect to Arduino pin 3, and the sink will go to the negative battery terminal. We're measuring the temperature. We'll connect the LM34 to 5 volts, analog channel 0, and ground on the Arduino. Now it's very important also that you connect the ground on the Arduino to the negative terminal on the battery so that they have common reference. For this first code, we will declare a temperature variable. We will set Pin 3 on the Arduino as our fan control. We'll initialize that pin as an output and set it to low to begin with. In our loop, we will measure our temperature using this command here. And if the temperature is greater than 100 degrees, we will command the fan control pin high. Otherwise, we will command it to be low. And then we will repeat this every one second. All right, so everything's hooked up per the schematic. I've got a 3S battery recently charged to 12.6 volts connected to the fan through the MOSFET and I'll be powering the Arduino Uno with a 9 volt battery. Now I'll warm up the temperature sensor using the soldering iron and see if the fan turns on like it's supposed to. Alright, fan came on. And I'm back off. Now, with the MOSFET, you are able to use pulse width modulation to control the speed of the fan. You just want to be careful, however, not to go too low with your PWM signal. I'd stay above 30-40% uh, probably. Uh, these brushless motors really do not handle low voltages very well. A three-wire fan allows us to keep track of the fan speed. Using a pull-up resistor, we can connect the yellow wire to the Arduino and measure two pulses per revolution. For this demonstration, I'm going to connect the red and black wire of the fan directly to my power supply, and that way I can control the speed of the fan by varying the voltage. On the Arduino side, we'll connect the yellow wire to pin 2, which is capable of interrupts, and we will use a 10 kilo ohm resistor to pull the wire up to 5 volts. Also make sure to connect the ground on the Arduino to the negative on the power supply. Now there are two primary ways to measure fan speed. One is to measure the time in between the pulses. The other is to measure how many pulses occur in a certain amount of time. For low speeds, it's probably better to measure the time in between pulses, but where we have a high speed fan, we are going to measure how many pulses occur in one second and extrapolate the fan speed that way. So first we'll need an integer to keep track of how many pulses we count during our one second duration. We'll also need an integer to keep track of the time. And then finally to display the fan speed. In our setup loop we'll start the serial monitor and we will declare Arduino pin 2 as our interrupt pin. And when we detect a rising edge it will trigger the subroutine called counter. The subroutine counter will simply increment the count. In our loop, we'll initialize the start time to the current time, and we'll reset our count integer to zero. And then we will wait one second. Once that one second has elapsed, we will tally up how many pulses we counted during that one second, multiply it by 60 to get per minute, and we will divide by two since there are two pulses per revolution. 
We'll print that to the serial monitor and see how it works. All right, so I got the fan running about 10 volts. I'm going to open up the serial monitor to see where we're at. Uh, about 2300 RPM. I'm going to dial this up to 12 volts now. And our speed increases to about 2600 RPM. The blue wire on this four wire fan now gives us the ability to control the speed of this fan by connecting the blue wire directly to the Arduino. This fan has its own PWM control built right in. No need to use an external MOSFET. The wiring for this fan will be very similar to the last one, except as you can see, the blue wire will connect directly to pin 3 on the Arduino. We're also going to reconnect our temperature sensor so that we can have the speed of the fan be controlled by the temperature. For our four-wire code, we're going to add back in our temperature variable and our fan control pin. The setup loop will look very much like the other two codes, and we will continue to use our void counter. Inside the main loop, we will read the temperature using the same command that we did previously, and this time, if the temperature is below 100 degrees, we will command the fan to the slowest setting. If it's between 100 and 120, we will command it to a 50% PWM value, and if the temperature is above 120 degrees Fahrenheit, we will control it to the maximum speed. We'll also display the temperature and speed of the fan on the serial monitor. The fan has 12 volts and it's reading about 82 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, and the fan is turning at the minimum speed of about 780 RPM. So once again, I'm going to warm up the sensor using my soldering iron and read off the serial monitor. Right now, 92 degrees, 94, 95, 97, 98, and 100. So you see the fan is now turning at 1400 RPM. So in between 100 and 120 degrees, we're reading 1400 RPM. And I'm about to hit 120. There we go. And it looks like we've jumped now to uh, about 2800 RPM. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on those notifications. And look forward to that do-it-yourself Arduino hovercraft. As always, thanks for watching.